If you're remodeling your bathroom, you know that shower is the most detail-filled space that you've got to take care of. And I want to show you how that will make sure it's a five-star space and not a Motel 6 disaster. Welcome to Around the House with Scott. And today I'm going to show you the 10 tips, tricks, and hacks for form and function to create that five-star luxury experience in your new bathroom shower. You know, the shower is such an important space whether you start your day there or end your day there. I know for me, it's that place where I just relax, I sing, I think, and I want it to be an oasis. My shower is pretty small, but I think I've designed it just the right way. Let's talk about form and function from the ground up. First of all, when you design your floor, keep your theme, which whatever you're doing on the tiles, I tended to go with a nice white, clean, lined look, but I want to point out you want a matte finish for the major area where you're standing. You don't want to be slipping and sliding and risk a fall. Second, back to form, you don't need a little drain from Home Depot that everybody and their brother has. Upsize it a little bit. I like BNC Custom Bath and Hardware in Irvine. They give great prices and they've got great style. I was able to get a nice square drain, which I think upscales the shower quite a bit. Next, as we kind of move through, consider dual faucets. Now I'm not talking a whole bunch of rain showers and all this kind of stuff. Unless you've got the budget, go for it. I did not. But I simply got a diverter where I can flip a switch and go from the overhead shower to a nice wand that I have in the corner. And that wand has two functions. One, I can wash myself off with it. But two, at the end of the shower, I get to wipe off, wash off all the walls, which I love because no soap scum ever builds up there. Speaking of the walls, Consider putting on a mirror for shaving or just vanity if you're a lady. I don't know, maybe you do some makeup in the shower. I'm not sure, but I love having that shaving mirror in the shower. Also on the wall, I put a little hook for my squeegee because yes, I squeegee the shower, even though on a bonus tip, I'm gonna show you how you really don't have to. As we work our way around the shower, those all important niches. And I'm gonna say this is probably the most important design thing you wanna think about. If you've hired a designer, they're gonna design generic niches, but your bath products are everything but generic. Whether you've got big, tall Neutrogena things with pumps on them or things from Costco to little, small you know, tubes of creams and potions and lotions. Design your niches to work with the products that you use every day so you can keep stuff off the floor. As a realtor, I have seen so many showers that are custom beautifully designed and they've got a big old ugly tub of something sitting on the floor. They could have avoided that. And sometimes, you know, we're thinking about the floor and the walls, but we forget about the ceiling. Make sure your shower has adequate light. My shower, I actually added a light and I put in what's called a solo tube, which is a little skylight. But in my shower, it created just that extra little bit of natural light that I like and creates that great experience. So again, from floor to walls to ceiling to glass door, take a tour of your shower when you're getting ready to do that remodel, get everything down on paper, create that awesome wish list. Sweeping around to when you finish your shower, you wanna have an easy, quick way to get out. I do squeegee my shower down, but my main trick and hack that I love that came from a designer friend of mine years ago was called Diamond Seal. And that is a product that is put on the glass that just makes the water rush down as if it's a waterfall and almost become spot free. So those are my tips, tricks, and hacks for your shower. You may come up with some of your own. One of them is perhaps putting a bench down uh, for ladies, you can lift your leg up to shave on. Men, you can sit down if you need to do any you know, grooming in there. I didn't have room for that here, but that is one thing that you might want to consider that I was not able to do. I know we hit a lot of items in today's video. I really thank you for watching Around the House with Scott today. Remember, hit the like button to see more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, once a week, I'm in this for you to create tips, tricks, and hacks to live better inside, outside, and all around the house.